Man, you ever feel like every time you open a tech blog, it's just the same old, same old. Same huh? five headlines, yeah. New phone, new laptop, new subscription service. Right? right. Like sometimes I just want something I don't know, different. You yeah. know, like a breath of fresh air. Well, good news, because today's deep dive is all about a project that is definitely not your average tech blog. We're talking about independent tech journalism paired with, get this, a custom-built Linux-based operating system. It is unusual. It's very unusual. So let's jump into this thing. We're diving into the world of the Lunduk Journal and the Lunduk Computer Operating System. And joining me for this deep dive, we've got a real expert on, well, everything. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. So first up, what is the Lunduke Journal? I mean, is it like Wired? Is it like CNET? What are we talking about here? It's interesting. It's positioned as the last bastion of independent tech journalism. Okay. So think more along the lines of those documentaries or magazines that you really love that are independent, that aren't beholden to the big corporations and can kind of you know, ask the tough questions. And not afraid to, like, be critical when they need to be critical. Exactly. Like, yeah. And explore maybe some less conventional viewpoints. And they also say they're politics-free, which, honestly, that in itself is refreshing. It's a breath of fresh air in today's media landscape, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. So that's the journalism side. But now let's talk about, because this is where things get really interesting to me, this Lunduk computer operating system. Right. Linux-based, designed for everyone. It's got that whole old-school computing ethos Break that down for me. Sure. So it's Linux-based, which means it's built on a foundation known for stability and security. Okay. That's kind of the core of the bedrock of it. Yeah. But it's this idea of an old-school ethos that's interesting, right? <laughs> Think about like a classic car, like a beautifully restored 67 Mustang, right? It's functional. It's beautiful. It works. But it's not trying to be a Tesla. It's not this overwhelming thing with screens everywhere. Yeah. It has a purpose. Yeah. You're not going to find, like, you know, five different ways to adjust the climate control in a 67 Mustang. Exactly. It's like it's hot or cold. Very exact. Take it or leave it. I love it. And that's kind of the idea here. Simplicity, focus on core functionality and doing it well. Okay. So it's like simplified, but also very privacy focused, which mm. you kind of touched on, but I want to explore this a little bit more. What does that look like in practice for an OS? Well, that's the million dollar question, right? Yeah. And it's tough to say definitively without, you know, actually getting our hands dirty with the OS itself and digging into the code. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think it speaks to a more, shall we say, user centric approach to data. Mm -hmm. So potentially challenging those models, those data-driven models that we see do dominating the tech landscape right now. Okay. So I'm trying to kind of put this all together here. You've got the Lunduk Journal, which is this place for politics-free, in-depth tech discussions, maybe a little bit more opinionated, maybe a little bit more critical, maybe not afraid to kind of, uh, you know, step on some toes. Push the envelope a little. Right, exactly. And then you've got this Lunduke computer operating system, which is all about, you know, sort of getting back to that simpler time in computing, more privacy focus, less is more sort of philosophy. How do those two things even work together? That's a great question. And I think if we connect the dots here, the journal likely serves as a central hub. You know, it's a way for Lunduke to connect with an audience that shares his vision. And let's be real, probably a source of revenue, too. Yeah especially with all the mentions of subscriptions and donations we see. Makes sense. So it's a model that seems to rely heavily on community, which, as with anything, has its strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it's interesting because it's all very, I don't know, on brand, right? Like, it's all Lunduke. Even the website is lunduke.locals.com. It's like mm -hmm. this whole ecosystem is built around, you know, this one person's vision. It's a great observation. And it speaks to the power of personal branding, especially in the tech world. Right. Mm -hmm. But it also kind of makes you wonder what happens if Lund Duke is no longer the driving force? Can an ecosystem like this outgrow its creator? It's a good question, right? Like, can this actually survive long term? I mean, we see it in other industries, right? Like, you know, fashion designers or, you know, even authors or whatever, mm -hmm. where it's like their name is the brand. Yeah. But then the question becomes, can that brand outlive the person? And in this case, can it outlive the person? And can this very kind of niche approach to not just tech journalism, but to, you know, building an entire operating system around this ethos, can it actually survive in the long run? It's a fascinating question. And to be honest, I don't think there's an easy answer. Yeah. But they are, you know, they're clearly tapping into a growing desire that's out there for alternatives for more control, more yeah, privacy yeah. in our technology. Absolutely. But is it a big enough audience? I don't know. It's a gamble, 
but it's one that definitely raises some really interesting questions about where technology is headed. It really does. And I think that's a great place to maybe leave it for our listeners. Is this something that you would be interested in, this kind of old school Linux-based, privacy-focused operating system with a side of very independent, politics-free tech journalism? If this sounds intriguing, head over to lunduke.locals.com and check it out for yourselves. Let us know what you think, because it very well may change the way that you use technology in the future.